Hi folks, uh, for those new to my channel, my name's Cliff and I do all sorts of model aeroplanes. Uh, today, uh, this morning in fact, I'm going to be uh, just taking the ailerons and servos off of this old wing uh, to fit into my new Manic biplane. So I'll just tip you down and we'll carry on. Because the, uh, the uh, ailerons are missing on the Manic biplane that I've acquired. So just uh, the servos on this, the servo uh, covers are pretty much the correct size for the Manic biplane rib spacing. And I just, out of curiosity, had a look at the ailerons and blow me if they're not the correct depth, just about the right width. I've just got to obviously strip the cover off and just put a move a, a rib and I've got a pair of ailerons the right length. So pretty pleased with that. So it can all come off. This was built by a friend of mine. I'm sure he won't mind. Little servo. That's come off pretty clean. Let's do the other side. This is good. Everyone should have a lead weight. Now, just for a bit of fun, while you're here, I'll put it up to the wing. This is what I'm thinking. All I need to do is to move, look at that, the size. Pretty much, pretty much there. It's quite a deep, quite a deep aileron. I might just have to make it slightly deeper on the bottom, actually. It's, it's not as deep as this wing about five mil three sixteenth not as deep just short in the ailerons down from this model i dismantled because they're pretty much the size i need so i'm just going to start cutting these ailerons down to length and got to cut back that Probably need a doubler on the inside of that rib, to be honest, because it's a little bit, it's going to be a 1 16th rib right at the end is going to be a little bit weak when I put the cover in on. It needs a peg on it, really. Hold it together while it's set. Right, guys, um, so what I've done, I've added framework to the bottom uh, of the aileron, a 3 16th at the front, tapering to 1 16th at the back. Just using the old razor plane to shave the bulk off before I sand it. Boom. Thinking ahead, I've got to put um, got to put the servos in. So I'm going to put them in this bay here. So I'm going to put the servo there somewhere in the in the wing, utilising the little plates I took off the original wing, which are the perfect width. Just want cutting down slightly, <laughs> almost exact. Back half a mil 30 second um, so that's got to fit inside the wing it's a great big fat wing so that's not a problem um, and I've also got to while I'm at it make a route for the cable from there through the wing ribs all the way to the center section
So the servo is going to mount somewhere there. Put the horn on in a moment. I need to stick a plate in the, in the bottom, and then I stick some, uh, yeah, screw this onto a, a couple of blocks and glue the blocks to the plate that I put in. Yeah, um, mine. I've got pre pre bent horns here, so really the servo wants to go. Yeah. Yeah, 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 in the middle of that. So, about there. So, as long as the center line of the, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> pardon me, the servo is about there. Yeah. Okay. Now, got server extension leads but how am I going to make holes through here and obviously I can do this one easy enough maybe slightly bigger than needed I've got one two three four five six ribs in this that one is a it's a double rib how the devil am I going to put holes in there I did have an idea actually what do you think to this to make a hole in the end where are we if I make a hole here, cut this section of the tip out, I could go straight in from this end all the way down with a with a, a tube or something cut sharpened up. Unless I can think of a way to go in from here. I think it's going to be easier to go in from the end to be honest. So now all I need to do is to Cut out this end section so I need a bit of well that's quite long isn't it I don't think I've got any brass tube that long to reach the center section there might be another way I'll have to think about it for a minute stand that there so guys stay oh, this wing so guys, this is the uh, start of the Manic build. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. A few little uh, problems to overcome, as you can see. But uh, I'm sure we'll get there. So I've gutted my old um, Super 60, Ben Buckle Super 60 out for the motor and the speed controller. And... I've got everything I need really, so it's just a matter of cracking on with it and doing the project. Quite pleased with today's slight progress. Aileron's made, servos chosen. They're actually um, Tara Pro MG 996R because MG is uh, metal geared. They're quite heavy servos, but well, it's a big clunky old plane, so I don't think it's worth hope you enjoyed the start so far and I'm looking forward to cracking on with this build as spring is coming. It's always a bit weird actually continuing with somebody's build, especially as I don't know who that somebody was. Be sure to check out part four of the DB Manic build and let's see how far I've got. Thanks guys. Cheers.